Hello YouTube and welcome to another OPN Sense tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install OPN Sense on the MWare ESXi. So are you ready? Let's get started. So in order to actually install PN OPN Sense firewall on the MWare ESXi, we have to do some configurations. Okay. So first of all, let me log on to my server here. So I will use my credentials in order to log on. Here we go. So I am in. So the first thing here to configure is actually to set up your network. So as you may know, for a firewall, you need at least two network cards. One will be related actually to your LAN network and the other one will be actually attached to your WAN network. Okay. So by default here, I have already a port group, which called VM network, which is related to my LAN network. Okay. So I need another card, network card, or actually a port group related to my one network. Okay. So in order to create a port group, we need first to create what we call virtual machine under ESXi. Okay. So I will go here to virtual machines, okay, or virtual switches, sorry, and I will add standard virtual switch. So I'll click on this link here in order to add this virtual switch. So I will name it, for example, one. Okay. And here for the uplink, I have to choose the network card that will be actually attached to my ISP. Okay. Which is actually the internet okay so here i have two cards available so i'll choose the first one in order to attach it to this one virtual switch so what i'll add it here we go and you can see this one virtual switch has been now added okay so after that i can add very easily my port group okay so i'll go to port groups and i will add now one so i can name it also the same thing one and this time it will not be attached to virtual switch zero, which is by default on actually VMware ESXi. I will attach it to this one virtual switch that we have already created just lately. Okay. So I will add it. Okay. Here we go. So now we have our two port groups. One is attached to our LAN, which is called VM network and the other one which is called one, which is attached to our one network. So now we can create our virtual machine. Okay. So before that, you have to know that you have to upload the ISO to your data store. So here, if I go to my storage, I have two data stores. So if I go actually to this data store, for example, two or one, you can see if I browse it, I have actually created an ISO directory and under it, I have actually uploaded the OPN Sense 25.1. As you can see here, this is the ISO. So in order to upload it, it's very easy. All you have to do is to click on this upload button here and you browse where your actually uh, OPN Sense resides on your PC and you upload it. Okay. So me, I already done that as you can see here. Okay. So now we have everything in order to create our virtual machine OPN sense. So for that, I will go to virtual machines here. Okay. Here we go. And let's create new one. So let's create a virtual machine. So of course here I have this wizard here. So I have to choose create a new virtual machine. So I will go next. I can enter a name for it. So of course, OPN sense, I will take it as name. The compatibility, I will leave it compatible with ESXi 8.0. Okay. For the guest OS family, you can choose other. Okay. And then for the guest OS version, you can just choose free PSD. For example, this 14. Okay. Or later. 64 bits okay because we know that OPN Sense and PF Sense are both based on FreeBSD. And let's go next. Here we go. 
So now we have to choose the data store where we want to actually put our virtual machine. So me, I will put it in this data store one, okay? So let's go next. And there is the most interesting settings. So here I have to choose how many CPU will be dedicated to this virtual machine. So I will choose two. For the memory, I will go with four gigabytes. Okay. For the hard disk, I'll choose something bigger, for example, 20. Okay. And also there is here a very interesting parameter that you can change. So a lot of people here choose not default one, which is VMware Paravirtual, but they go with this uh, LSI logic parallel, okay? And I will leave all other options as a default. But here you have to pay attention, as I told you for a firewall, it must at least have two network cards. So the first one is already actually uh, set up using the LAN network here, okay? So I have to add another one for our one network. So I will go here to the top and I will click add network adapter. Here we go. So you can see now new network adapter has been added. And here all I have to do is to choose actually the port group that we have created earlier, which is one. Okay, so this is very important, okay? And finally, for the DVD drive, I will choose ISO image that we have uploaded to our data store, okay? Which is, of course, OPNSense 25.1. So I will select it and I will go next. So now I have everything you can take a look at this you have everything in order to create your actually virtual machine so let's finish that here we go and as you can see your open sense virtual machine has been created successfully so now all we have to do is to click on this virtual machine and to launch it simple as that okay so let's click on this window in order to launch it. Here we go. And as you can see here, I have another window that appears and it is show me the boot process, okay? So I will go with this uh, process in order to see what we get. Okay, now so you can see that I have this message here because we are actually running in live mode. So in order to install actually OPNSense, we have to use installer and not root as login. So let's do that. So I will type here installer. Here we go. And of course, the password is OPNSense. Here we go. So let's continue with the default key map. So you go with uh, actually this installer, which is very easy. All you have to do is to just type enter, 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 choose your hard disk and go with your uh, actually the installation. Okay. So it will ask you just to choose your desk and of course it will detect the desk that you have actually chosen for your uh, OPNSense uh, virtual machine and you have to select it and you go next till you find this uh, installer actually process. So now all we have to do is to, to actually change our uh, default password so I will head here OK. I will input it I will hit enter and I will retype it here we go
and now I'll confirm and exit. So I will rebuild it now, okay? So normally by default uh, the LAN interface will be on the address 192.168.1.1 and this address that we'll be using in order to get the web GUI and connect to our actually uh, OPNSense firewall and configure it, okay? So let's go through the boot process once again in order to finish it, okay? And here we go, you can see now that I can reach this uh, OpenSense firewall through the address that I have mentioned it. So let's do that, so let's uh, actually uh, close this window and open a new tab on our browser and try to connect to this default IP address which is that one, that one. Okay, here we go. So we get this message because we are using self-signed certificate from OpenSense. And here we go, we have actually now to log on using the credentials that we have input during the installation process. And as you can see, now I am in. So we have successfully actually installed OpenSense on actually our VMware E6i, okay? So we have this wizard here in order to set up the rest of the configuration okay so first of all let me just change this uh, white color to dark mode so for that we're gonna actually use settings administration and we're gonna actually look for a team or actually it's under general, not administration here. So the team here is OpenSense, so we're gonna choose this OpenSense Dark and I will save that. Okay, so now we have our dark team, so we can return back of course to the wizard. here at the bottom in order to configure your OpenSense, okay? So that was just a brief video to show you how to can install actually OpenSense firewall on VMware E6i. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. And of course, if you have any suggestion for future video, drop them in the comment below. Otherwise, I hope it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Bye bye!